Good morning, everyone. It's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday to you. Wait, she's wearing this dress and it's Tuesday. Well, folks, you got to love that upload feature because I wanted to make sure that you got to see some entries while I was off swimming with the grandbabies. And I certainly have a whopper, folks. This is from Miss Donna Dreams Times 3. And you know what's really interesting? This is the first one we received at the five, six dollar amount. In fact, this one went for six dollars and four cents. And yet it's just as weighty as some of the $14 ones. So if I was confused a couple of days ago about postal rates, I'm even more confused now. Because this one is super thick and heavy. And yet some I would send for $6.04. Um, Miss Donna packaged this up expertly. And I gotta tell you something that's interesting about that. This actually came open from customs. So it's a good thing she put in this bag enclosure that she used. Oh, Miss Donna, this thing with the dryer sheet is brilliant. It's just brilliant. You know, I know Sabrina said she's stealing it. I'm stealing it too. Um, especially if I know the person doesn't have any allergies and they'll, oh, Miss Donna. Folks, this, you're not gonna believe when you see what Miss Donna's done. You gotta remember she's our shabby, shabby, shabby maker. And she has gone somewhere very outside of her comfort zone while still maintaining her voice. And, you know, this is why I love to see these challenges. Sorry, there was a big stingy thing flying near me. Because Ms. Donna has built for me, and it's, I gotta tell you, it's one of those ones that I'm gonna study like I did Monty's, because she got so much in here, her pockets are better. So, and you know, they're flat pockets, so it's pretty amazing. She must be one heck of a sturdy maker, because I would rip my pocket if I stuffed it this full. But look at this, folks. Look at this, it says, oh, happy day. It's got a little gold. And she's only attached it at the top, so this flutters. I love that kind of detail, Donna. And then you carry it around, and then she's here's where we see just a little of Miss Donna's beautiful lace. And we have lace under, oh, Miss Donna, that's like that lace I love. Folks, this is like the one that's my favorite here. It's got like stitching and, and white, and oh, it's beautiful. Only it's done in white and mint. I know on my crappy camera, it's like this color mint, just softer, guys. And then she's built up a crepe paper rosette in, the, in a slightly darker mint tone and then added a muted but very pretty pink pel, uh, pelican no flamingo on top of that with gold foiling which picks up the gold foiling here picks up the gold foil sunglasses oh <gasps> look at these oh miss top i love these did you get these at the hobby lobby see i haven't been there in so long folks i'm telling you i'm so out of date with what they have i see the hauls but i'm like i'm still out of date Okay, and so look how pretty this is, and you're just not going to believe what it holds, folks. You're just not going to believe it. Um, I'll show you what's in the first pocket. We'll have to do one pocket at a time, because Ms. Donna has so chuckled. <laughs> Wait, the pocket just keeps going and getting better, folks. I'm not kidding, and I have to be careful, because she's put in really, really beautifully delicate, and she's built, look how smart that was. I want to show you this, what she did. I, this is something, this is why I love studying these. She's made these cute little cards for me to use because she knows I don't have any paper and I'm out of supplies. And this one says, you go girl. And it's on this cute muted pink cross paper and then some black lace washi and then you go girl on top. And that's backed up on white cardstock. Look how she got that in. I want to show you because I just learned something really smart. So because she knew that pocket was uber full and this one had a little wiggle room, she tucked it in like the back. So all these cards were tucked in the back like that and that's how she got so many in, which is a really smart design. This one's got pineapple paper, pink and um, pink with gold foil, and then pineapple, and then be you. Oh, this is so cute. Beautiful. It's really beautiful. This is really beautiful, Donna, and really thoughtful, because you all know I don't have paper left. And this one says fierce and fabulous. Fierce and fabulous, and it's in a ombre mint green with these cute 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 little gold foil again we have the flamingos and this is a nice touch of pink with some gold in it washi see how simple it is to make these mini note cards but you know what folks and i don't do them either and i got to start building up a stash like miss uh, susan tootsie tucker has and clearly miss donna knows how to do it too because she tucked these in they're thicked up they're cute because like for instance if i had built up a little stash of these i would have them to enclose with all my happy meal but i don't because i didn't think to do that but folks, look how impressed. Okay, Miss Non-Delicate Hands has to be careful because I would rip this normally, so I have to be really careful 
because she has die cut out for me little banners out of paper, which are so useful, guys. And this one has little ice cream cones on it. Um, because I don't have that here. I do have that die. I didn't bring it. And then she's tucked in. Oh, this is a really nice quality sticker. It's all thicked up and it's got some gold foiling and it's one, two inches big. Oh, Miss Donna. Oh, folks, look at what she did. She tucked in some beautiful doilies, one gold and one like silver holographic. And I love these doilies, actually. I also liked these ones the most out of all the store-bought. So this was so thoughtful. <gasps> Those sunglasses. I'm in love with these sunglasses, folks. Of course I am. Oh, my, Miss Donna. Thoughtful lady did a whole bunch of bag toppers for me. I can't even show them all to you, folks. And they're perfect. And they're in all different beauty. Look at this. She did a shell one because she knows I'm doing the swap with Miss Sabrina. Miss Donna, I'm going to hug you because, in fact, folks, she's cut out a whole bunch of different papers that can go pretty much with any collection. Like, if you wanted to do a Maggie Holmes collection, all this matches. If you wanted to do a Shabby, all this matches. And then she's tucked in these cute little, like, LOL stickers. And they're really cute. And they have sunshines and sunglasses. <gasps> Miss Donna, these are amazing, guys. Guys, she knows I'm going to go crazy for these. Cool, hustle, goals, awesome. This is like all those goodies you can't bring with you when you go on a trip and your husband's like, what are you bringing? Um, and he, he was right, guys. It's not like, oh, there's a whole section die cut, folks. Oh, my gosh. And it, you don't know how loaded this is. I'm just going to be able to show you a few of the best of the best because there is so many. Um, I got to show you this because I don't have this die and I need this die. I want to know where you got this die from, Miss Donna. So it's a butterfly-shaped bag topper with the matching corresponding piece and she gave me different colors and different papers so I could mix and match so let's say I didn't want tone on tone look what I can do folks look what I can do this is amazing this time this was really thoughtful guys I'm gonna say this again this is so time-consuming to do for someone especially these fussier dies see how pretty that looks oh yes it does to cut out these fussy dies for somebody is a lot of work it's a lot of scrubbing poking making sure nothing tears these delicate babies are way harder because these will tear in a heartbeat. And she just cut out a whole bunch and stuck them in there, guys. And that's not all she sent. Not just the butterfly bag toppers. Not just the regular bag toppers. But she made sure to die cut for me some stinking cute bow, bows. And you know, folks, I told you this. I only have a couple of bow dies. I don't make bows a lot. And she decided to send me like, oh, I've been interested in this bow die. Now I finally get to see it. That's just as exciting, Miss Donna, as you cutting it out. Because I wasn't sure if I should order this bow, this bow die or not. And now seeing it, I see how cute it is and the size. Oh, you cut me out one of these. I ordered this for me and Miss Dina. Miss Mama Loves Disney and we I don't have it yet. And it's so cute, guys. Look at this deer. Ugh. And then a whole bunch of tags. Look at this. This was so thoughtful. Oh, she did not cut me on another banner. She did. And Miss Big Hands is like terrified to handle it. Okay, I'm putting the delicate dies to the side because I'm so afraid, folks. I really am that hard on things. Like, I don't exaggerate. When I told you that story about Miss May May yesterday, I was being real serious. Because like, I'm trying to tell you, like, I legit am hard on things. Oh, there's, guys, I can't even show you them all. Why don't I just pick these up? She did candy ones. Oh, look at this cute candy bag topper with those matching candy pieces oh folks it's like it's like loaded loaded look at all the bows and she built me more of those look at this and then she sent me all this so i have sentiments you guys are just unbelievable like i don't unbelievable and then she cut me all these nice beautiful tags look what she did on all the corresponding paper so everything matches oh she did not oh guys i just learned how to tuck paper in better you got to see this i got to show you because this kind of ingenuity i'm so impressed with okay so she's put a little sticker at the back so when i first looked at this it looked like this was part of the design to pick it up right oh no folks are you ready watch i gotta be real careful because i don't want to build i don't want to damage the enclosure Ta -da! So she basically built a little placeholder with that Oh Happy Day. And then 
Look at all this paper she tucked in. Look at it all. Oh, Miss Donna, that is a great lesson for us because we're, we want to build the best flat millers we can, right? The best. And this is so cute. Again, it's all coordinating. So she's made sure I've got it all in case I need it, which I surely do. I cannot believe this. Like now I can make Lisa a little thank you note. I was going to have to rely on store-bought folks and the cards here are stinky because this paper's so expensive, right? So I just want to show you how smart that was again. I wanted to show you. So tucking paper like that is like genius. I just want to say because it becomes part of the design like Monty Gales did that first time. Only you can tuck a whole lot of supplies and I want to show you again how she did it. She folded it over into the pocket. She obviously measured it very carefully. Oh my camera. Come on, you got to show them so they can see. All right, so here you go. So see what she did? So she was very patient. See, I'm not like, I don't have delicate hands. You see, I'm honest about it. I have to be patient and I have to tell myself to slow down. I have to say, hey girl, you got big old hands. It'll rip stuff, be gentle now. And then I can do it, folks. And then I can do it. And this is what I mean by you can't claim that you're like a rough crafter, a messy crafter. Oh, if I can do it, so can you. No, I legit struggle, but I get it done by being patient and careful. Look at that. Look at that ingenuity. And that's how we need to send paper to people in flat mail, folks. Such a clever design, Donna. I'm more excited about learning how to build this. I got to tell you, the goodies are mind blowing. Like I can't hold them all. Again, now this one went out for $6. I don't know how it got here for $6. I might even hold up all the goodies, folks. I can't. Oh, she did a fringe one. Look at that nice fringing. That's like a nice funky fringing. Um, I can't even hold them up because that's why I put a whole bunch back, the delicate ones off to the side, and a whole bunch more off here because I don't want anything to happen to them as I took them out. But I can't hold everything that she sent. Not even close. And so what I'm thinking is that, again, this comes down to your postal carrier. Because why did this come for $6? It's as loaded as the $13, $14 ones. I don't know. When I get home, I have to ask my, my nice postal manager in Florida a lot of difficult questions. And it's going to be tough on her. Because it's I 8 o'clock. And there's our man. I'm going to have to use some of the supplies. And so he won't really get, he and, and his assistant won't really get the weight. Um, because I will, will have used some of the supplies. But I'll tell him that. And that way, he can help me figure out why. For instance, Ms. Donna could send all of this for $6. And... Other people had to pay 13 because look, folks, if I tried to put it back, partially even, I mean, I want to put it back as nicely as Miss Donna did, but if I, just to show you the depth and heft of this package, um, and that couldn't even put the delicates back in or the stickers back in yet. I mean, obviously, after this video, I'm going to go put everything away properly. But what a smart enclosure, folks. Like, this is so clever for flat mail. And, you know, she did pick it all up. It's not like there isn't cardstock in there. There is. Each pocket's backed up. Each pocket is perfectly adhered. It's just really well designed, guys. Really expertly designed flat mail. And I'm going to remind you again, Miss Donna did this in a little bit of lace meets super precise. So in other words, she went and veered away from the pearls and diamonds and uber lace and went to a more clean. And you know what, Donna? is just as beautiful. It is just as beautiful and so smartly designed. So smartly designed, folks. Oh, people, everyone has brought their A-game. You know, either you stepped way out of your comfort zone or you stepped mostly out of your comfort zone and found a new, because this paper is uber clean and modern, folks. There is not a bit of a hint of lace on anything. And even on here, it's super clean. So this is uber opposite of what Miss Donna normally does. And she did that while still honoring her loves of green and pink. So you see, folks, and she added some black and gold to this round. And she normally doesn't have gold in her projects, that much gold. So this is a big step out of her comfort zone. And this back is sure is modern clean, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'm always inspired. You guys have brought your A-game, folks. You brought your A-game to this challenge. And I got to tell you, holy cow. Look at this. Super good flat mail design. Super good, Miss Donna. So functional and so pretty. Well, this is Miss Donna. And you all know her. She's Donna Dreams Times 3. I will put her channel down below in case you have somehow missed her. But I, I don't think any of you have. I mean, her memdexes are building quite a reputation. They're stunning. And I want to remind you folks, what a clever idea. If you know that people don't have any scent issues, and I love scent, um, tuck it in some dryer sheets into your flat mailer. 
is like a burst of happiness when you open it. It's a burst of happiness. And it's a clever way that won't damage your product. Because I'm always scared of those little sachet things that are made out of like soap and stuff because I'm afraid they will damage the product. But this won't. So clever, Miss Donna. So clever. Oh, folks, I'm super impressed, aren't you? Oh, yes. Well, this is our next flat mail entry. I'll have my handy little list. Um, so when I put it up with the title, you'll see what entry this is. But I think this might be entry number six, actually. I am super, super excited to present this to you. It is Miss Donna Dreams doing clean and simple. Doing clean and simple, folks. Doing it well and loading it full of goodies. Thank you for all those goodies. Thank you for doing all that die cutting for me. And making sure it all matched up and I could use it for things like for Miss Lisa and Sabrina and everybody. Thank you, Miss Donna. Thank you so much. Guys, this is fabulous. Pause this and take another look at that design. Pretty amazing. If you're doing some flat mailing, this holds a ton of O stuff and it's super cute. All right, folks, and don't forget that paper trick. Take care, and I'll be back on in a little bit because um, we may have some more entries today and tomorrow, folks. We just may. All right, folks, I hope whatever you're doing on this Tuesday that it's really magical. I hope that you, if you're working, it's an easy day. To those of you who are new to our channel, welcome. And to those of you who have been here for a while, or if not from the beginning, because many of you have, then I say I hope, hope you've had a great day or you're going to have a great day. And thanks always for watching. Always. All right, folks, that's it for now. I'm out swimming with the grandbabies while you're watching this, because believe me, at 8 o'clock in the morning, they've been up for hours. All right, folks, take care. See you later.